Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be reviewing the Night Eyes Doohickey Ratchet Key Tool. And this is going to retail for around $15 and it is going to be a little bit cheaper on Amazon at times. All right, so I do not usually review these single piece tools, these keychain tools, but I thought this one was unique enough that I thought I've got to get this and I've got to review it so you guys can have an idea if this is worth it or not, if you don't already have one. So we're going to see several features on this tool. First of all, we obviously have the uh, carbiner right here at the end, and that is going to very easily clip onto a keychain, and it holds pretty securely. I held this for about a week to review it, and it did work pretty good uh, as in holding-wise on the keychain. All right, and then we'll have these wrenches. I never use these wrenches, so. And then we have a ruler. Let's see if I can get this in focus, inches and metric as well on each side along the end here. And these, it looks like are basically just painted on. So if you scratch this, it'll probably just come off the marking. All right, and then we do have a pry tool and they're considering this almost like a scribe. So it has a little bit of a sharper point. And let's see if I have, I do have a piece of metal and I'm not sure this is exactly what this is meant to do, but let's see. So anyway, it's not, so it definitely is making some markings on there, but anyway. So that's sort of what that is. And then a pry tool as well on the end. Then the most interesting factor about this is the ratcheting function. So that is really unique. And that is really the whole purpose. Well, this is actually called a scoring point, I guess, actually. So anyway, so I guess it's more for scoring than actually scribing. So we do actually have a ratcheting tool here. So you can hear the ratcheting function. Then obviously if you want this after you're uh, loosening something, if you want to tighten it, you can get that ball detent right in there, keeps it into place, and then you can tighten whatever you're working on as well. So it actually works pretty good. I was surprised that these did not fall out of my pocket. A lot of times these rubber inserts I'm not a fan of. I have had way too many of these made in China just fall right apart and they do not keep their tension. So this tool, they actually did. That was never an issue with the bits falling out. So I was pretty impressed with that. All right, so that's the positives. You've got a ratcheting function. I think that's the most positive feature on here. And it is, it does have a clip so you can attach it to multiple different things. So now the negatives, this was pretty much an awful keychain tool because it was just so long and so big and just so bulky in the pocket. This is going to be as long as a Leatherman skeletal, basically. Look at that. <laughs> that is huge. So to call this a keychain tool, it's a little bit of a stretch. So for instance, this is the collector stowaway tools that they would put in a cell phone. There's a whole line of these. I've gone over these in some past videos. Look at the difference. This I would call a keychain tool. This has a removable screwdriver so you can change the bits. This, I would not call this a keychain tool so much. To me, this is more something you would put in a leather organizer with your other EDC tools. If you carry EDC tools on your belt in a leather pouch, that's what this more is, I would say, is for, but to each their own. So again, final thoughts. It comes in at a pretty compelling price. If you're going to just slip in a, an option, if you want to use this on your belt, fantastic. Put in your leather organizer, fantastic. I like, I really like this ratcheting factor, the pry factor, scoring factor, but again, way too heavy for a keychain. All right, hope you like, subscribe. I try to put a link to Amazon below and we'll catch you in the next video.